Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is the seventh video of the playlist for basic for React.js. In this video, we are going to make the state management same like the previous video, but we will instead of use the Redux, we are going to use the context instead of the React. And also, if Redux needs some installation, this context is not is not need some installation. There is already inside of a React. First, we can go to the documentation here. There is inside of the reactjs.org slash docs slash context.html. And here, I'm going to I'm going to take example from this dynamic context in here. As you can see, we get the documentation got theme context.js and theme button.js. And there's also have the app.js in here theme context is same like the reducer in the redux and for the theme button it's like it's like the store it's like the store inside of the redux and this app.js is like the component there is using the reducer the, the reducer from the redux so before we are going to creating the same thing like the previous video but with context, we are just going to make the same thing like in a documentation here. So we can go to the VS Code here. And as you can see, I used the same project like in the previous video. So if you haven't have the project yet, you, you can watch the previous video. Maybe I will put it in somewhere or maybe in the description. So in here, I'm going to make a new folder. That new folder is going to be theme. This one is going to is this one is is going to hold all of this file or all, all of this theme and all of this theme context and theme button file. And if you are see in here, theme button .js, this import theme context is dot slash. So that means this theme button with the theme context is in the same folder. In the app.js, it is, it is actually dot slash too, but we are going to make it in, we are going to make it inside of a folder. So I can make the, the two file first. The first one is team context and team button. Team context.js and team button team button.js I can copy the code I can copy the code from here copy and paste it here save alt shift f to verify it and then here I'm going to copy and paste it here alt shift f to verify it inside of this app.js x I'm going to connect it with a theme context and theme button as you can see here, we got two import. I can copy the import and pass it here with some spacing so that if I want to remove it, it's going to be easily to remove because we are just going to use it for an example and for under and for and to understand this context. For this one is dot slash, but I will go deeper. It will be the theme folder and then the file. Next, we are going to have this function toolbar. I'm going to copy it and paste it here. Save. And in here, we get a constructor with the props. Constructor, I will copy the constructor first. Copy it here. There might be some error. Oh yeah, to use this one, our class is have to extend to the component. So I can make it extends in here. Class, wait a second, class app extends comp component. Wait a second, component. Save it. And and because we are using the extend component now, we have to wrap all of this return inside of a render function. 
render and then we are going to pass the return inside of here oh sorry i haven't cut it yet so render and then pass it the inside of this render function save and we should be having no error and in here we got the render same like we have and the return and what we are going to need is just tem context and the team button i will copy it outside of this router and i will i will remove this section tag and alt shift f again to purify it now let's see in the website we got some error tem context is not defined okay we have to, we have to import the react we have to import react inside of these two file the first one is going to be this is not inside of a curly brace it should be just react copy not all of this i will just copy this one line and also i have to pass it in here save and let's see we got no error but if we refresh but I will go to the home first. We got the blank page. Let's see what is the error in here. Console property undefined of setting props. Hmm, let me see in the code. And app the JSX. So for that we are just going to make a new component or page called home. So we are going to we are going to put all of this UI inside of that home page. Go to your file explorer and inside of this src folder, I'm going to make a new folder called page with a lowercase p and inside of it we'll have the home.jsx. I will write draft c, control b, save it for now and for this app.jsx, I'm going to copy this one first. We'll copy all of this render function, close it, cut it, and pass it here. I'll save F. Wait a second, we get some error. Yep, because it is, it is not yet some extens or some class. In here, I'm going to change it first. Class, home, extens, component component I will tap to auto import it save and I'm going to I'm going to also copy this constructor and pass it here I'll shift F to purify it give it some space and I'm also going to cut all of this import from the app.jsx I will control X it and pass it inside of this home.jsx file for the app.jsx, I will just leave it empty for now. I will cut. I will cut all of the file, all of the content, and I will just leave this app.js with some import. So in here, I'm going to return it to the default. There's function app. There's something like this, isn't it? Or no, something like this, I think. Let me control Z and see where is the default. Yep, there's something like that function app. And then inside of here I will I will write return and for the return I will just return the home page and it will be a self-closing tag. Oh this one is not curly brace, it should be some parentheses, save and then alt shift F. To verify it let's see in the website oh we got some problem here import oh yeah we have already imported the component in here so if we are so if we are importing the same thing twice it will give if it will give us some error and as you can see here the component home dot home jumbotron web details and so on it is not found because if you remember this app.jsx is inside of the src folder 
but this home.jsx is inside of the page folder. So for the path, I will give it, I will give it one folder outside, and then the folder. Let's see if we get some error now. We got no error, and if we click this change theme, it will change to the dark. Let me let me explain for you. In here. So, in this case, we are using the context separately. So the context is not inside of this home.jsx file. It is inside of this theme and then theme context. And here we get the context. It is will exporting the themes and the first one is light and the dark and for the default is dark. This export cons is going to make a new context and this context can be used inside of this home.jsx. As you can see here, we got the theme context and themes. And we also imported the theme button component. So in here, we are using this theme button component inside of this toolbar function. This onclick props is come from here, this toggle theme. And if you are scroll down, you will see this theme context dot provider. It means it will make a new provider. It will create a new provider based on the theme context. So in here provider and then we get the value. And here we are going to pass the value from this from the this and then state and then theme. As you can see here, for the default of the UI we are using the like. And for the toggle theme function, it is some it is some if and if the state dot theme is equal to dark, it will change to the like, and if it's like or else, it will change to the dark. And as you can see, we get the set state function where where this function is used to change or set a new a new value to a state. And in here we are we are declare we are declare the the state that we want to change. So for this example, for this example, it's just something like this. If you are refresh, as you can see, we get the like button because the default is like. And if I click, it will change to the dark. And if I click it again, it will change to the light. Now for the for the theme thing is done, we can now remove all of this and we will make the same thing like the like in the previous video. So I will remove this constructor and also I will remove this theme context. Save it and then I will I will also delete this theme folder. Oh wait a second, I Maybe I was deleted the app.css. Okay, so it is back. Now control B, save. Go to the website. Go again to the card list. And we got no error, so we are good to go. Then here, home.jsx. For the first one, we are going to make the context inside of this inside of this home.jsx folder. And later we are going to make it separately like in the like in the example from the documentation so the first thing we are going to do is make the context so in here i'm going to make the context enter enter and for the context it's going to be the root context cons root context equal to create context and then semicolon and cons provider is equal to root context dot provider. So in here we are we are already declare the provider so that in inside of this home class inside of this home class we don't need to to write it like in a in like in a documentation like for example. If we are not declared the provider in here, we have to write root context dot provider. But if we are already 
already declared the provider in here we just have to write provider because the name of the provider is provider so for the context is done now we can make we can make the state you can see the state from the card slice.js this is the slice from the previous video and as you can see we got the card count we got the card count and the card id we can use it inside of this home.csx2 so the first one is going to be card id is equal to an array and that one is one two three four and we're also going to have card count is equal to four for the state is done now we can make the action so if you are look up inside of this card list.jsx we got some we got some function there is using this count but but this all of this is still using the redux so we can delay it first or maybe just comment it out i will comment this one and also this one i will i will comment the mapping function for the first and i will make all of this dispatch function into a null wait a second into null 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 and null and we also have to go to the index.js instead of here we are we are already set the provider but this one is from redux so we can comment it out copy paste it here uncomment and delete all of this provider so we just have to we just need the app.js we just need the app component now let's see if we get some error count is not defined oh yeah so in card list i forgot to change this count i will just change it to one i will make all of this data turn into a static and how surprisingly we got uh, we got no error so that means we we good to go for the function i will make it as a dispatch so if this one is called state this one is will call dispatch is equal to we will pass some params here and for the params is equal to let me name it something like a uh, type so this type is going to is going to this type params is going to be determined what the action is going to be like for example the increment or reset so if type is equal to increment it will be incrementing the state so return this state state and as and as i and as i told you before this set state function is used to change or set a new value to some state and for the state we are going to edit two of this but the first one is going to be the card count the card count is i'm going to change it as this state and then card count plus one we can also copy it from the card slice but i will just write it by hand because it will be some change if i just copy it and maybe and maybe appearing or accusing some error so i will dot 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 just this tree and then this state and then card id so if in card slice we just use this uh, we just use state in home.jsx we use this before the state so after the card id we have a dot 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 and then this dot state dot card count so i can give it more comma and for the first one is done i can copy it two more times and the second one is going to be a reset and the last one is going to be decrement decrement for the reset i will just copy it from the state because this one is the reset 
so it will change to the default value and for the decrement we will going to change the card id first and then the card count for the card count i'm going to change it to the minus because this one is decrement not increment and for the function to changing the card id i will just copy it because this one is a little bit long so i can copy and paste it here but we have to add a new this before before the state this dot and this is what i told you before if i copy it maybe it may be a little bit it may be a little bit annoying to edit it and and change it to for this home.jsx file so save and let's see how it looks in the website still no error good now we are going to wrap all of this router instead of an provider so i will control x and then i will wrap all of this instead of the provider and paste it here i will save and then go to the provider and set the value for the value i will make it to some object so the first one is going to be the cards the cards is equal to this dot state so this card will will pass the card data like for example the card id and the card count and the next thing is going to be the dispatch this dispatch is going to is going to is going to pass this dispatch function and this one is going to be the function of the button save it and let's see we still get no error good check the check the server and there is still not running now we are going to use this data instead of this card list so instead of this card list i will import the i will import the root context import but before it i will export it first in home context in home.jsx i will export the root context and import it inside of this card list import root context from the page and then slash home so to use the data inside of this home.jsx we have to make a new we have to make a new a new provider in here so first i'm going to i'm going to cut all of this rec fragment with the content and make a new tag this will call root contacts dot consumer so this tag is going to be is going to be the tag there's going to there's going to fetch all of the data from this provider so how to show it it is like this we put some current brace and then value is equal to and don't forget to add the return and pass all of this in here alt shift f and then save see how it looks we still got no error good now let's try to activate some of this function like for example the first one is going to be the the mapping the mapping function and i'm going to change the id to value dot card id save now let's see we got some error see in a, see in the console reading map cannot undefine of reading map card id oh yeah after the value we have to add the cards cards and then the card id and as you can see here we get the four card and for the count is also like that we are going to pass this value dot cards cards dot card count save it and look and look in here we get the four and the four card the next thing is we are going to implementing this button so go to the button go to the button function and i'm going to change all of this new to the value dot this patch 
And for this dispatch, it's a little bit different from the other because this one is a button. So we have to pass some we have to pass some parameter in here. In this batch, I'm going to pass the type. Type is equal to for the first one is going to be increment increment and the second one is going to be a reset and the last one is going to be I mean this one is increment and this one is going to be decrement save and look in here F5 to refresh it to make sure all of this content is updated and click the increment button this is the testing so we got nothing let's see in the inspect each child in a list have to oh yeah but first we have to add a new key so for each of this map i will make a new index so in here call md5 i have to give it some key and that key is going to be this i state or this i variable now let's see f5 inspect we got no error but if we click this increment it still do nothing let's check it out value dispatch let's see in the app home dispatch is this dispatch type or maybe in here i'm going to have one more dot type maybe let's see how it looks if it's gonna working and it is working so we have to change this first type to another value so that it will make some it will not make some recursion or what so i have so we have to change it so that we don't have some redundancy data I will change it to something like maybe um function or maybe action save and see in the website f5 to test it out and click this increment we get an it is incrementing the data if we decrement it is decrementing the data and if we reset the data it will reset the data so for this context is done and now we are going to make the contact separately from the home.jsx so i will make a new folder inside of this src folder and that folder is going to be contacts and inside of that context we will have the root context.jsx or you can make it wherever you want so inside of this root context We'll have the import and then react comma. We'll import the component and the create context component and the create context from react. Now we will copy or cut this root context from here. I will copy, I mean, I will cut it and paste it in here cons and and now i'm going to make a new provider and that provider is going to be a global provider and for the function we, we will return we will return some class and since this one is a contact so we have to we have to change this cons i mean so instead of this return, we'll have the, a class parent com, and then we, it will extend from the component. Component. Let me see. Component. It will just like this, and instead of it, we'll have the render, and instead of that render, we will have the return, and instead of that return, we will have a provider tag. And instead of that provider, we will have the we will have a div. And here I think I forgot the arrow. 
So it is done. And we are going to pass some params in here. That params is going to be children. And instead of this provider, we are gonna pass, we are going to passing this children. Children. And it is also going to be a self-closing tag. And don't forget to export the global variable, I mean the global provider, default, and then global provider, provider, semicolon. Now, let's see in the website, if you see in here, we got some error, import, root context was not found. Now it is time for us to cut to also cut the state and the dispatch i will cut save and i will pass it in here i'll save f to verify it now let's go to the home.jsx and in here we are going to we are going to wrap the home with the global provider I will I will put it inside of this global variable and let's see what the error we get. Root context what not found export default. Let me see where it is card list. Oh yeah. But before that we have to delete the provider inside of this home.jsx. I will remove the provider here. And it is already replaced with a global provider. And next, and next is we are going to go to the root context. And then in here, we are going to pass the value. Value is equal to an object, same like before in the home.jsx. So the first one is going to be the cards, and the cards is this.state. And the next one is going to be dispatch and this dot dispatch. And if you are seeing a website in here, we get the root context was not found. This was because we run we didn't already created the provider. So in here, the first one is the provider, and the next one is going to be Oh, not in here, it is in here. So the first one is provider, and the next one is going to be the consumer. Consumer. And for the consumer, I will make it similar with the provider, but before that, I will separate this root context. So this one is for the provider, and this one is for the consumer. For the consumer, I will make a new consumer component. There's the root dot root context context dot consumer. And for the card list, in here it just it's just same like in here root context dot consumer. But I will make it in a one component. Above that, we'll export the cons. And for this one, it's a little bit different. If in the if in a global provider we use the export default, in a consumer we are not going to use the export default because this default is can be used only one in one file. So for the global consumer, I will make it export global consumer is equal to we will have the children, we will have the children, and crow function. And inside of here, we will have a return. This return is going to return some class. Class, parent, consumer, and extends from component. Component. And it will render something. And inside of this render, we'll have another return. And inside of here, we will put the consumer tag. Consumer. And then we'll have same like in the card list. We use something in the curly brace and then value or a function and we'll we will return we will return the children tag. Children tag. 
which will be a self-closing set and also in here we have to pass this props so that we can copy the props and for this one we will have two the first one is same like in the top this dot props and for the value is value in a card list we can we can put it outside we can put this break fragment outside of this root context so you can copy or cut it and pass it instead of this return alt shift f now we just have to wrap this card list inside of a global consumer and pass it here save let's see how it looks we get value is not defined there is because if you are console lock it like for example in here i will console but also i will make it extend to the component too class home class and card list card list card list and then extends component component and in here i'm going to make it i'm going to wrap all of this return inside of a render alt shift f now inside of this render i will console.lock this so it will console lock all of the all of the data but first we have to we have to comment this out so that this will this won't give us some error also for the button we will comment it out and let's see how it looks we get some blank bits but if we inspect it and then f5 to refresh it as you can see here we get the card list so we are not we are not anymore using the value but we are using the props so in here in the code we are using after value we are going to change all of this value to this and if you see in this in the console log we have the props and then the cards and the dispatch so we have to pass the props and then so on now let's check it out it is showing the four and four card and i and if i increment and increment it will work if i increment for example to six and reset it is also working and we are already creating the the root context inside of this home.jsx and also separately so i think that's it for this video i hope you enjoy it don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye